In its final leg around Antarctica, the academic Treshnikov left Chile on February the 25th, headed back to South Africa. The first stopover in South Georgia provided ample opportunity for terrestrial, aerial and marine sampling. After South Georgia, the team explored the beautiful islands of the South Sandwich Group, rich with chinstrap penguins and fur seals. Never inhabited and considered the most isolated island in the world, Bouvetoya would be our final stop before returning to Cape Town. Along the way, ACE pursued its ambitious mission to merge sciences from all fields, marine, terrestrial and atmospheric studies. The sampling rosette and continuous seawater line provide water samples from all depths of the Southern Ocean, profiling its mineral and microbial composition, its carbon dioxide absorption and phytoplankton. The trace metal rosette also measures nutrients, bacteria and viruses to assess the ocean's changing biogeochemistry. Newson and Bongo nets harvest phyto and zooplankton to measure microplastic pollution and its impact on the foundation of the food web. Dredging for organisms evaluates carbon storage on the seabed as well as benthic biodiversity. GoPros placed on seals or on fishing rods are some of the tools looking at the mysterious phantom bottom. Land masses affect the Southern Ocean in many ways. Soil samples from South Georgia and Bouvetoya will help genetic assessments of endemic and alien species. Ice coring allows scientists to reconstruct the past to better model the future of climate change. The atmosphere interacts with both land and sea. In pristine sites, catching air particles improves our understanding of an unpolluted pre-industrial atmosphere. Stable water isotopes in vapour, precipitation and snowflakes are measured to understand why the Southern Ocean has become less salty. Surveying threatened bird populations is a key element in conserving Antarctica for our future generations. With researchers from many countries and disciplines, ACE pushes science to soar beyond all borders. I'm David Walton, Chief Scientist on the ACE Voyage. 
Antarctica is a remote, challenging and beautiful continent and understanding it is a crucial part of the future of everyone on Earth.